Oh. M. Mom! Hey, y'all. It's Hall and Closet time. I'm Jay Destin's Hall. And I'm Heidi in Closet. Today we talk about my fashion and nails. She tries to keep her hair on, we'll tell you that. Uh, sister, you, not too much. Not too much. Speaking of sister, mm -hmm. we have our straight sister in the house today. Faggot. <laughs> Make some noise for our special guest, Maddie Morgan. Yes, Maddie is in the building. What do you talk about? I push about? straight every time I push that button, every time I say straight. That was the trigger word. Oh. Faggot. There you go. Keep tradition alive. Faggot. Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said, and you is. And Let's you get is. into some nonsense. Let's do it. Oh! Ooh, yeah. Uh huh. I know that's right. Hi. Hi, I'm Heidi in Closet. I'm Jada Essence Hall. <laughs> and this is a show <laughs> where we laugh, learn, and light up. And Heidi, I'm proud of you. <laughs> this is Hall in Closet. Yeah, see? Yeah. We're back okay. in the building. So, Jada, how have you been? Um, I'm lit. You Can lit? I say that on the podcast? I mean, you already did, so I guess, yeah. Go ahead and say you it. You want to know why I'm lit? Why are you lit, sister? Because I'm glowing from within. From within. Not, not because of drugs. Like you no are why. You are very beautiful uh, on okay. the inside. I please get those <laughs> hands off the of mic. What happened? Look at her fucking hands, y'all. I don't like that. I do not like that, Heidi. It's that pinky right there. It's that pinky you look. Girl. You know what you look like. You look like. Girl. You look like if yeah. it. You look like if the the sausage fingers from everything everywhere all at once went and got a manicure. Yeah, sick thing. Gaggy. Yes. I'm, Went I'm, to their favorite nail tech from Instagram. Oh my God, Heidi, that is horrible. Heidi, I have a question for you. Yeah, yeah. What is your favorite thing about annoying people? Um, well, I love your <laughs> I love your sense of fashion. And I love <laughs> <laughs> Baby, be ready for the sling back. Okay, well, don't, don't, don't come on this podcast getting feisty. I'm today. never feisty. We have a very special guest, but we can't say who it is yet. You can't say special anymore. Jada. We can't. Why not? She's right there. She's in the room. <laughs> she's in the room. I hate that. She's right here. Is she? She's in the building. She's. In. I didn't know. I. I. I when we do this part of the podcast, we're not able to, we're not allowed to turn to our left or our right. Oh, we're not? No. Bitch, okay. Yep, so. I looked right at you, man. Then please don't do that. Let's, <laughs> we are, we're only allowed to look at the mic. Look at the mic. <laughs> no, my God. <laughs> Heidi. Yes, Jay. What have you been up to lately? I have been, uh, mm -hmm. uh, well, masturbation one. That's uh, your favorite it, thing it, to do. It keeps me calm, you know. It really keeps These you grounded, days. and mm -hmm. it's not as it's not five Sticky. gallons like a whale, but it, a whale. It, but it's enough. It's enough. Just yeah. Um, I'm working on projects here and there. I'm mm -hmm. really excited about some things that are coming up. Don't know how much I can talk about it. I honestly. know about them. You know about again. <laughs> so while Heidi wants to keep it a secret and ah! surprise y'all, <laughs> I the think I just uh, you up. heard it here first. Hey, even, even, could you, you imagine? imagine, bitch? Yes. Imagine somebody just getting their ass whooped in the studio for pulling that. B baby, worn the fuck out. Girl, imagine, imagine as a friend you trusted, dropped something that was like an NDA thing. Uh, girl, that's why I didn't tell nobody. When I got back from Drag Race the first time, I didn't tell <laughs> The first, <laughs> the second time she was smart enough like, to know, the second uh, time she was smart enough to know and it didn't matter. It didn't. Just, <laughs> did it. <laughs> That hey, bitch told the whole ram sore. Everybody do. That Girl, bitch got back. She said, she said, she said honey is making it out of here. Yeah, <laughs> yes, honey. But yeah, uh, that, you uh, imagine you told somebody in ram sore and that got all the way back to LA. Girl, I would have gagged. Girl, I didn't talk to nobody. No, for you like wouldn't have gagged. Months. I would have been. You wouldn't have gagged. You would have been at boots. home. Girl. See, but I, we Dang. know some girls who've gotten cast and then talk about it and then not get oh, cast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. R.I.P. I think R.I.P. Heidi. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what? 
You. Oh! Oh! I'm acting! Clearly. <laughs> I'm ad- not I'm acting. I'm acting. The way you go, you go. The director said, well, yes. Well, yeah, pull it back now. Well, yes, now. pull back now. Pull it, now pull that it. we know you can go really far, let's see what you <laughs> Pull it back now, y'all. Uh, and have you ever been told to pull it back on a set? Yeah, well, well, yes, actually, on, on Slay. You're lying. They told you to pull it back? Well, not in a sense of like I was doing way too much. They were like, let's refocus the energy. They are like, okay. now try it this way. It was more so guiding and like see different valleys and inflections on the Camille, how many times do you want to tell us to pull back on the podcast plenty i'm sure <gasps> oh that's camille that's camille, that's camille, camille. Y'all. camille is what makes this possible that is camille is the, is the calm within the storm of me and heidi's the spit on the glue the hot not that's hot solid, glue that on, solidifies uh, it did you literally just call Camille Spit? And we're back. We're back. We are back. Yes, go on, honey. Now. Yes, ma'am. We have a very special guest in the building, Mama. Okay, we can't say. We have a very guest in the building, yes, Mama. A very guest. We have a very guest in the building. This special guest, or this this guest, mm-hmm. spends their time taunting people. Yes, I, I would say the Belittling, careers of others, te- uh, uh, traumatizing. But what we will say about this person is they are an incredible researcher. That they know they know their stuff. They they look up Google. They, they well. You got to know how to work Google. It's it's complicated out here. That's a, that's one of the you know that's a part of drag. It is learning how to work Google. It because you, you how so way. Let's welcome Maddie Morphison. Yay! Uh, oh what God. a segue! Oh, hi. Wow. How are you? I'm good. It's it's been very thoroughly entertaining thus far. Just like sitting on the end of a table and just watching y'all have a. Whatever Did you want to say something? <laughs> Thank you. Thank no. you. I don't, I don't want to know. It's not, Did it's you want to say something to us while we were talking? Did you want to be like, shut up? Or <sighs> Yes, but it's not my inner place to interject. I'm a guest in this space. Thank you. So I will. Thank I, you. I will talk. And you're when, straight. Yeah, that was the joke. Yes. When, when you. <laughs> oh, okay. When you first wow. found out that you were straight, <laughs> Maddie. Huh? When you first found out that you were straight, did you feel like you had let someone down? Like you, you should hide that away? From anyone? Did you fag it? How did you feel like having to let people know you were straight? It was fag it. See, you're gonna, you gonna stop hitting that button. I, I think it's wild that that button <laughs> is actually hooked up to the equipment. Like it's like a regular. Yeah. Well, it's like yeah. one of those like little buttons you get from like Staples, mm-hmm. except you have it like wired what? and hooked to the machinery. Absolutely. Because then that way, anybody that's plugged into the network. That's a they know faggot. They know when we're calling them back to it, set. Honestly, it, whose voice is that? Meatballs. Meatballs. It is meatballs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They had. I did the meatballs uh, uh, podcast recently also, yes. and they had that button, and it was it threw me off because like after like doing my show, I have become hyper aware of my own voice. <gasps> yeah, and I feel like yes. the button almost sounds like me. <laughs> I'm just like, and it's almost. I was like, like y'all are gonna actually get me canceled get for canceled. audio listeners. Okay, I think I'm just yes. like saying it. So we should okay. just say it's Maddie now. Uh, what, that, what, what? What? I didn't think about that. Why don't I just like do a live and just push it in the background and be like, Maddie, okay, stop. Maddie, Maddie, but, please. <laughs> we're doing a live. Maddie, please. You can't Sorry, be doing all that. Okay. That's, well, that's, no. that's not me. That's my father. That's, I apologize. We're trying to it's include just... you, girl, but you do. Yeah. There's, a, there's a trigger <laughs> word. Sister. Yeah. There's a trigger word that is triggering this thing. What is the triggering word? I don't know. She's just hitting that button to distract from the fact that she kept calling me special. So that's all she that call, is. She was calling you special. I was trying she to tell. I, she I, doesn't realize. She's, she's one of the older ones. So she doesn't yeah. really Yeah, realize. I am old school. I come from the days of Barney. Everybody's special. <laughs> everybody's special. Everybody in his special or her own way. Everybody's special. No child left behind. Well, <laughs> no well, child. Well, Damn, some, no child. Some, she, some, a some, lot of children were left some behind. Some have been. I know. I a lot of children were left behind. Look at me. Look at you, girl. You, <laughs> just, you are lit this evening. Now, we felt like because you are such an investigative journalist that we did some investigating ourselves. Okay, see, you gotta be, uh, I'm, I'm interested to see how this turns out because Meatball and Dipper also did, and they basically just read off the Wikipedia page and half of it was wrong. So let's go. Oh, no, we did no, 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 no. research, Mama. We do real oh, okay, research okay. around Mama, this we, fucking place. So okay. I really want to talk about 
You, and it's funny you bring up being canceled. We've we love <laughs> you. We we care about we, you. We want you to always okay. succeed and be and accountable the that you do. Okay. And we feel like we just want to hear what you were experiencing, what you were going through on January 6th, Maddie, because we have proof here. Footage. I Actual. Specific, I specifically said I didn't want to talk about you this. Have, we have you, Maddie Morphosis, at the Instagram. I and I feel like, and I feel like, no, d- yeah. And you we played a re- because it's Because you played a big part. I also, As like, we can see. Right here. I, I really thought I was just going to be a filler character. I, I, I thought I was throwing my promo look and no yes. one would even notice. I just... <laughs> Did you what what what, what was, was what was your name that day? What what alias did you go by and drag? Or did you just go that? proud as Maddie? Um, Republican. My yes. drag name was Republican. There it is. <laughs> She's <Yeah>. fast. <laughs> She's fast and fiscal. <laughs> and fiscal. And fi- yeah. The fiscal cliff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not like I'm not like other Republicans. I have- my whole stone just jumped. <laughs> just, <bitch. you're laughs> just, get, get over here. Put it back on. That's a bauble, baby. Baby, oh my, my bauble. Um, you're not like other Republicans. No. Interesting. I am, oh, you, so you're just, cuntier. Just, just fiscally, because you know I have I have friends that are gay. Fiscally. So, okay. Fiscally. You fiscally. know a gay. That's your. That was your name at the, the in Capitol. In prison. Fiscal. What? That was my name in prison. Fisc- oh, okay. Fiscally. I thought it was meat. I thought it was meaty knuckles. What we said earlier, right? Uh, meaty knuckles. They called it the meat grinder. The meat grinder. <laughs> Nobody wanted her in the bathrooms, girl. <laughs> You was gonna be talking about seven hard years, <laughs> bitch. Oh, them be seven hard years, all right. Wow. Um, you don't think I would be successful in jail, in prison? What do you? What, if, what is your definition of success, successful, successful in prison? What do you do in prison successfully? I feel quickly? like I would be the type of person I would probably find the n- biggest, the strongest, strongest person what? to protect me, oh. to be and my, to be my, to be my jail husband, my prison husband, and you know, if he already has a wife, you know. Now he has two. Well, Heidi, what if outside, or like, five. what if the pattern in prison is like the pattern in prison outside? I mean, outside in the world, and like, then nobody cares in there either. I mean, it's. We well, can't find a lover I'm in there. To, I'm used to. Oh, well, baby, I have a lover. I have a lover. You see me? I'm a snack, baby. They will eat me up in prison. Snack. With what? what, 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 what? I'm so tiny. What, what, what condiment so would they delicate. use with, with you? Uh, they would use the uh, the booze from the toilet bowl. Be doing body shots off of me, bitch! You know, <laughs> out my booty hole, itching just in the morning, the, so the, bad. Not the toilet moonshine, <laughs> toilet moonshine, body shots just is wild. Staff all up in your <laughs> belly button, <laughs> just aged peaches in a Ziploc bag. Hiding me, aged peaches in a Ziploc bag with sugar and some shit just sitting behind me. the toilet. Y'all can't for take a couple of months. Y'all can't take. <laughs> you have a rash down your belly button. <laughs> so <laughs> Pussing and smelling like pursuit. I cannot. If you were in prison, what would what would be your successful trait? I don't know. Probably um, making friends. Oh, okay, you have friends. friends. Yeah, I'm very personable. Mm. Um, so getting beat up a lot. I, I, I like. Hey, so no, I, I'd yeah. be Heidi's protector. I got upper body. You, you, know? you would protect I work Heidi. Out. I work out. Yeah. I knew I liked her. Yeah. I say this: Just start a boo. prison thruple. Thruple. Why we need a third? Because then y'all can watch y'all backs from all different directions. We. Ha- uh, what? That's who would, smart. Who would our third be, Maddie? I don't know. In prison. In prison. I don't know. Who's most likely to be there? Uh, okay, let's. And what would they be there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now who would be there, and what would they be there for? Uh, oh, tax fraud, and but who though? You tax know, fraud. Tax, you, you know these drag girls are not. Claiming, oh, these drag girls are not claiming their tips. They're girl. not. Girl. Okay, now that. Okay. They're not. Girl. Now wait a minute. Girl. Because I don't get no tips. Because, I don't. I don't either. Because you work the world. You have. You get a booking. Yep. Fee. There you Dang. go. Yep. See. Yep. Even yeah. when I go to the club gigs, I tell I go out there. I tell the people. I say, no, hold your money. <laughs> don't you give it to me. <laughs> Not putting that on my taxes. That's it. You I know, know that's right. You don't claim it. You buy some. You buy. Cl- you buy like uh, other stuff. Yeah, other. If you, shit if you, you can't love. claim it, you buy other stuff with it. I don't condone that, but I'm saying no. what the other girls do. You put it back into your drag. No, you claim anything that goes in your drag. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, that is true. This is true. Y'all know a lot about CBS. doing taxes. I should probably do mine. I you go to CBS and get a Red Bull. You claim that. That's for your drag. I have an accountant, honey. Yes. She she helps me with everything. Lube is a part of your life too. I lube it. 
<laughs> Ooh, I lube it. I lube. I lube it. I lube that drink. We have another piece of information and photo. Okay. We need to ask about some more things. When did you realize that you, you know. This is. Ask about it. Very shocking. And although it says 2001, okay. we clearly can see this is a very recent photo. Recent. Of Maddie out on a red carpet with hmm. Justin Timberlake after the release of Britney's personal deep memoir. Interesting. What say you? So I'm, you were against Britney. I'm not going to apologize for getting press. Mm. I'm not. I mean, so yeah. you're straight, but you don't like women? Is that what we're hearing? I mean, that's not what... I'm not, I'm not here to say the quiet part out loud. I'm just... I'm oh, just, you, so, I'm so just, you're telling us to read between the lines. I'm, okay. Well, you, I'll you, tell you use, that, use that North Carolina public education. Do your best. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't do me well. It, ain't, it may have served me well, honestly. Thank God you had a personality. Um, <laughs> just, but I must say. Thank you. You look ravishing in denim. Thank you. Thank you. I denim on them, you know. You I did, had, did I, it. Denim on them. I denim on them. Oh, <laughs> you, got, you got more bars than Nikki right these now. These photos, by the way, these photos are How do you think I ended doctored? Bob's career? Ended. You know? How you, why, why, you just, would you. Heidi's Could a fake bar. No, grab I'm a photo. I'm not a fake bar. No, grab a photo. You're not going to keep with this narrative. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Pull your I gloves feel, down a little bit tighter. I feel like I shouldn't be Maybe. here. Mom, dad, are you fighting because of me? <laughs> Should I go to my room? <laughs> no, it's, stay right it's, it's, Stay right here and watch how your father's upsetting me. <laughs> father. <laughs> bitch, you the old man. How dare you? <laughs> you the father. We have company. Okay, daddy. Yeah. Ooh, I like the way that's down, Yeah. Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you take the power back. They, I don't know. Now, I like taking power. You now, since we're already on the topic of of, of women, okay. Mm -hmm. We want to talk about also how you've really came into your own when it comes to erasure of women. Okay. <laughs> Can we talk why you're here with supporting Kanye su West? Support supporting Kanye. Already, it seems. And you just gonna just take Miss Swift Miss Swift spot. I I want to be known right now. I do not condone the words of Kanye as of recent. But graduation was a great album. I said it, it is okay. what it is. You, it is what okay. it is. We can all agree. Okay. Well, do you well, think he supports you in all your endeavors? Did he? Did Re he recent reach? Kanye? Yes. Recent Kanye. Yes. In the past, like three years, Kanye probably. probably he probably so. is like he's probably like I. I, I, I love how large you photoshopped me on these things. Long, <laughs> at, large. At least, that's how you shape, baby. That's you shapely, Sue. Do not come from my childbearing hips. Okay. I love them. Um, you, you either got it or you don't, but I'm just saying. You was born with and it, would you say? You scoped it up a little bit, huh? Were you born with it? I was with the ability to, to craft it, yes. Okay. I there think was, with with, the, with that with that body right there, <laughs> uh -huh. you would have been a nasty piece of work in the 1700s. I can see you. You would have hey. got slayed in the 1700s. Okay, now we talked we talk about what we would do in prison. You wear that garment up in the jailhouse. Baby, I'm telling you love. right now. Honey. <laughs> Because literally, on. imagine back in the days you went to prison, you had to wear your own clothes. If you live, that's crazy. You just literally let in jail em. with a petticoat. Why don't they let them? You're already in prison. Yeah. Why you gotta wear the same You're shit? You're not allowed to have True. Let them wear denim. But I'm not finna uh -huh. fuck up my wardrobe. Honey, yeah. we in prison. Because back in the days, the prisons was just rock. If, if, you, were, if, you, were, if you were in prison, Stone. would you be like, uh, like tailoring your stuff, trying to cut yes. it in, bring it in a little bit. Customize. Yes. You you would be that girl with the customized. Girl, I would suit. be in that bitch fierce, getting in trouble every yeah. other week because uh -huh. you're not supposed to alter the outfits. Bitch, I tell them, I say, I go. Then this is what I would do. I'll go right to the little head um, warden person. I'm like, y'all yes. know what? Y'all don't even offer us like no flavors in the Kool Aid. No flavors. Switch it up. They start bringing us new flavors, like the blue tropical punch. Mm -hmm. Bitch, now I got blue lipstick. There it is. Oh, it's like that one uh, that prison documentary. Or that, the one girl who got in trouble because she had like the red candy and she like licks it and then yeah. puts it on like on her lips and they, like her they eyeshadow gave her contraband and stuff. For that? Well, she got in trouble she for it, but yeah, she was like the prison system is fucked. Let's say that for real, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. honestly, you're in prison. It's always been. Let, let them put a starburst on their eyelids. But speaking of the prison system, oh gosh. oh god, prison, honey. This man, your your friend, a friend and of your yours. friend, and my friend, okay, who it seemed. You've been supporting. does a lot of favors for you uh -huh. as a straight cis man. Yes, okay. I just want to know what what were you doing here? Why Is at the Good Whiskey Rebellion? It's the Whiskey Re seventeen ninety four. Okay, I. Just for the record, this is out of context. This was were you there when the they Revolutionary the War? This was like a couple years prior to that. Okay, so just in my defense, and you know, I, well, I it, did you fight for the South? 
Okay, so a recruiter came no, to my high school. Was, this was a recruiter. Ma- this came, was no, listen, a recruiter came to my high school and he uh-huh. said, "Hey, if you serve in the military, you get like discount on your tuition, and maybe you'll okay. get a Dodge Charger." So like, I was I signed up, you know, like I I did a couple pull ups in the gym as they do, and the, you know the little tests and all the little stuff well, like that. Well, though you were I passed serving- on the ASVAB. I just. Serving chicken. I didn't. I didn't know what I was there for. I was just following orders. Seems you were giving serving did fried he, chicken to the forces. I would. Yeah. I, it was like it was more of a performance role because like I did. I scored well in the ASVAB, but not physically. ASVAB. The ASVAB. The test you take for the military and stuff. I didn't know there the was test. a test. The ASVAB. There is. Yeah. yeah I. I, I, I so I, I passed the ASVAB. <laughs> ASVAB. <laughs> and yeah, I know. They were like, you scored well, but like you're not physically fit, but you can do like entertainment. So I did like the whole like show the boys what they're fighting for back home, which oh, was really? okay. bodied women and fried chicken. Okay. Yes. So. That's fierce. There it is. That's fierce. Was well, his teeth really well, wooden? This, so like, so just for the record, to clear my name, I didn't serve. But you served. But I served. So. There we have it. And, and you know what? And this is why I, I asked y'all, everybody, I asked you to have the hard conversations with the people in your lives yeah. because this could have been easily misconstrued as her. Yes. No, and, and thank you for holding me accountable. Thank you for we that. Have I don't fuck uh, with George like, Washington. We, we can't, we can't we like, no, it's like we we, Do if, if we don't have him? these if we don't have these conversations, yeah. we can't learn. We, you know, I'm not trying to learn. Because guess what? Any, she got high wisdom. What I've learned, mm-hmm. I what I've as as she didn't with, even with her my, wisdom teeth. She said, "I uh, I got them. I'm a keep them." <laughs> oh oh, <laughs> come back to us, Jada. Her wisdom. <laughs> come back to us, Jada. <laughs> what I learned about, about that, learning things wisdom. is that <laughs> no matter what we learn. We still make mistakes. Mm-hmm. So philosophy says just make mistakes. I sure. I see it. I see it. Let's just keep fucking up until we get shit right. I mean, ain't that what we've that, been doing? That's what America was founded upon. It's what we still do. We know. Now. We see you were there. <laughs> clearly. Clearly. Clear, we we well, just yes. cleared you of this. We don't want to bring this. That's bring not, <laughs> the key to not getting canceled is get cleared from it and not bring it back up. And make an apology video on YouTube. Yeah. Cry a little bit. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'll be crying in my kitchen. Yeah, 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 but if you yeah, yeah. if you let one tear come out, I swear yeah. to God, it's over. You, you can't hold this against me. I was I was trying to get into college. I'm a child of divorce. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, what happened? What was they got divorced. Happened? Yeah, okay. and I was oh, a child okay. of that. Oh my God, that's fucked up. Yeah, that is I fucked up. That. They were arguing. Mm. Now it makes it was, sense. It was you, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, now I know why you turned out straight. Huh? Now I know why you turned out straight. Damn. Yeah, I was just trying to please, you know, make parents happy. Oh, so you're a people They weren't happy with each other, so I was like, maybe I can make them happy. No. Yeah. That makes I sense. I don't want to give them one more reason to fight. So, Damn. Oh. Yeah. I'm trying to keep them together yeah. as much as possible. Just give me a reason. Oh, just, I can finish just the conversation. I'll just add It's enough. Just, just, we can all join in. Just, that's the way. Um, just, just. Fuck, what's the <laughs> lyrics? We can learn to love, love again. again. Here we go. <laughs> You about knock my wig off, sis. You girl, a little bit. Why'd you wake up for the so back much? row? Honey, she's living. Bitch, at this point, now it's getting lumpy and it's looking like a pillow. Thank you. But it's looking like a pillow from like, the My Pillow Man. It looks like you're wearing one of Alaska's wigs with a flat tire right now. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> that is Alaska's wig. It's Willem's. Oh, it's Willem's wig. It's Willem's wig. I want it to be a blonde, too. It look like Alaska. What it, is, it looks like Rhode Island right now. What is now. your it's, favorite hair color? Favorite hair color? I actually like a like for me or just in general for you and then for other people. I think for me, I think a red hair, like a natural red hair, not like like, like I do love a ginger moment, not like a Tina Burner red, but like ooh, the natural ooh, red. Ooh. Yeah, but I think for other people, like just black hair. Black hair looks good on like everybody, girl. If you're like if if you're a white person, you give that good goth look going mm-hmm. on. You know, we love. It's nothing like a shiny, beautiful black hair moment, girl. Sheened up, we, looking all shiny and fresh. We love our uh, big titty goth girl friends. Mm-hmm. We're here for them. Yeah, I think I, everyone, <laughs> everyone can rock a black hair, like black hair. Yep, even black people. Yeah, um, primarily because most of us have black hair. Yeah, I do. By default, I'm black. Yes. Um, now, wait, hold on. Recently, I, I, I don't want to move too on too quickly before we find out what Heidi's doing. <laughs> I'm going through it. Oh no, here. she's good. <laughs> this is this is what she gets paid for. Look at her. Girl, I'm, okay. I'm starting to see more and more of your forehead. Well, fix it. Help me. Sister, be a sister. Say... <laughs> this is now the story of the episode. Be a sister. This is who you are now. Well, okay. You're falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> and no fun. <laughs> that was too much. You haven't even drank yet. 
This is this is how you operate on a day to day level. This is wild. It's wearing, it's wearing me out. Your eyes are red. <laughs> are you yeah. crying? And she's no. crying again. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Okay. Here, I just want to say, let's do a toast really fast. A Liberty. second ago, <laughs> to Liberty. <laughs> to Liberty. <laughs> Crossing the Delaware. Cross <laughs> to cross the Delaware. Did you cross the Delaware? If, if you could, if you, if, as, okay, we are talking about accountability. Mm -hmm. If you could tell George Washington one thing, what would that be right Ooh. now? Fix your teeth, bitch. Oh, get so they, were, so they were wooden. I don't want to talk about that because they were not wooden. They were not wooden. That's a whole other conversation. Oh, they were just, that, that's, 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 that's too deep of a conversation. It's for this too deep for this podcast. Oh, yeah. oh, no, I'm trying to dig. I know. Let's go. They didn't teach her in public school, so she's actually teeth. genuinely curious. Oh, no, I know. Okay. <laughs> oh, I know. You want to you wanna no. air, girl, you want to air George Washington Let's air her out. out. Oh, Let's air Miss Washington out, honey. She deserves it. Just because she on the $1 bill don't mean shit. We going to We going to do that on a very special podcast. Where's my $20 duck? Where my tubbies at? Where my tubbies we supposed, at? Where, where my still tubbies waiting? at? We still waiting at? on the tubbies. Where my $20 tubbies? Where is my tubby? <laughs> Girl, I think where they, are they? With, they are playing with us because I have been waiting to see Harry Tubman on the $20 That was before quarantine. Video. That was before COVID. And you... She was supposed to be coming before COVID. Well, and then guess what the gag this is? This is after COVID. Now after COVID, people are using less cash. Now we ain't even gonna need to carry tubbies. Goddamn. Mm. If I had a time machine... I yes. would go forward in the future. Oh, okay. forward. Get okay. my $20 tubby and go back in the past and get it signed. Yeah, and then give it to Heidi so she shut the fuck up about her tubby. So Period. Talking about, about my tubby. And then this bitch just spin it. Over <laughs> <me>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bitch! She, she holds it up to the light first, like a, a real 20. Okay. She's not used to tips that she big. Wouldn't know. She, she don't even know how to check the money. Big. She just take it in. <laughs> she just take money. She throw it in her bag. Just get throw on the plane. It in the bag. Do you, Let's when go. you when you travel, speaking of tax evasion. Um, <laughs> Thank you for assuming I travel, but go on. <laughs> When you travel and, and if you're getting tipped at your show, right? If anybody, if, and, if, and, if, if people right. are wild enough to give you their money, mm -hmm. um, charitable, yes, go yes, on, yes, so kind. Um, <laughs> do you just throw your money in the luggage and then do you trust going through the airport? It it depends. If if I go to the show, like a lot of times I go to the show, I'm of sound mind. I'll yeah. take the tips, I'll straighten them out, I'll put them in the thing. You know, I used to keep them in my carry on, whether yeah. on my person. Uh, but if it's a show and they're giving me free drinks, I'm getting lit. I'm just throwing everything in that suitcase because that's for future me to worry about at that point. You know what I'm saying? That's Irresponsible. It, it just depends on the gig. Like I did like, in Vegas. I'm right down the street. You know, I, I flatten my money, make sure it's ready to go to the bank the next morning. I went to New York recently. They got me fucked up. You got okay. turned into New York. Which, and, uh, where you, where were just, you at in Brooklyn? Well, yeah. Uh, of course. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. sounds about yeah, right. Three dollar bill, and I, I threw every, I threw those wadded up little one dollar bills with all my dra my drag the in the suitcase, dollars. and I'm like, I'll. Girl, yeah. I'll straighten these dollar bills and when steam everything home, out whenever I get home. We yeah. talked about yeah. etiquette there, being tipped. Worst tipping strategy. I mean, I guess it's to get the money over there sometimes. But worst tipping strategy is when people ball money up like this. And they throw it on the stage. And then throw it to you. And now you're in the back like this doing origami. Yeah. Reverse origami to get the dollar. You so got to go home and get a hair straightener and like flatten Hello. it out. Because like you can't even put it in the machine. It won't take it. Girl, you're working for that buck. So you, so you, so you do get tipped then. I don't know. No. I never. I don't know what a tip is. The oh. silence is deafening. Hmm. Same. Heidi gets just the tip. Same. Uh. Oh, put that down. Don't bring up my past. The past. Don't bring up my past. It, that I, was two thousand one. That's it was another time. It was another time. Imagine. I will say I look good for seven years old. I will say yeah. in my defense, <laughs> you you were I was sickening at seven years old. That's what she was old. doing. She was doing those Tyler and Tierra pageants. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was in second grade and I was that bitch. Stunting. Just fully, just seven years old, fully serving cunt. Yeah. Just <laughs> out in the streets, just <laughs> giving. I, imagine, <laughs> imagine, this was, these were, none of these photos were doctored and this was like what you did with the time machine. That would be you funny. had a time if machine I had for a one. week and was like, let me if we, just if go we had, back. If we had time yeah. machines, <laughs> you would go forward to get a Harriet Tubman. you go back in time to tell George Washington to fix his teeth. I'd hit all these cultural events. She said I would that hit up the To not change history, but to enforce it. Just just the, enforce yeah. It. Yeah. She, yeah. About right. she looked at Washington. She said, you better not stop marching. Yeah. <laughs> He was like, I wasn't planning to. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, keep going. Just yeah. on. Like, I, I meet George Washington and walk right up to him and say, you have a flyaway. Let me fix that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you go. I love Six your wig. High. He yeah. did love a powder white wig. So you know. I love your wig. <laughs> Cute tights. Mm -hmm. Is that a hard front work, Diva? <laughs> is that someone's hair? The powder wig uh, is Maron. Could you imagine the president having a hard front? They did. They did. And did. Yeah. Gaggy. Girl, imagine those plans. wigs literally look like those wigs you get from like Halloween Express. Yes. And you pull mm -hmm. it out the bag and it's just like. <laughs> No, our, 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 our founding fathers took it out of the bag, shook it two times, and, and then put a bunch on. of Maron white powder on it. And, so and, and, and then they want to hate it. on drag queens. Yeah. Girly songs be We right. used to be a proper country. How are they going to hate on drag queens whenever our founding fathers that were they look they worship they were wigs? They loved drag. <laughs> he used to put on his body with them, all them layers of tights. Yeah. He's literally wearing tights in that photo. Probably a corset. The, qu the only question is how many layers? At least a girdle. At least a girdle. At least a girdle. At least a girdle. Sucking mm -hmm. some of it in, you know. Yeah. For the photo. What 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 is your favorite time period? Favorite time period. We're asking the questions people really don't care about. I don't yes. think we're at it yet. Okay. I don't oh, think, you were looking towards I, the future. I don't think there was a time where America was ever great. So I look towards okay. the future. Ooh, yeah. There are great now times you, ahead. Whenever we get a Harriet time. Tubby $20 bill, yeah. then maybe we'll be a proper country. You, you, ooh, now you're talking on talk now, Miss Maddie. Ooh, Miss Maddie. That inspired me. Now I'm like, she I didn't even think about stuff. I'm like, maybe I could one day be on a $4 bill. Well, you could. People, because then by then you're gonna be able to you buy like be a, a Chuck E. Cheese coat token, maybe. Period. Oh, I will be fierce. She, oh, Chuck E. Oh, cheese mouse, token. She's already on it. I'm like literally, but you, literally, you you become a. <laughs> what you know about Charles <laughs> Entertainment Cheese? <laughs> Charles Entertainment. What do you yes. know about Charles Entertainment yes. Cheese? <laughs> that man had to love cheese bad. <laughs> he loves it. He said, "I I, I love that cheese. I, I love, love cheese. I love that cheese. cheese. Oh. What's your favorite kind of cheese?" Favorite kind of cheese? Probably. I don't, know. I, don't, I don't fuck with cheese that heavy. So I don't know. Oh, you don't like the cheese? I like the cheese, but not like, I think I like a cheese as much as the average American. So American cheese. So they love cheese. Mm. Maybe less than, I don't know. Do you know like American Make people. America cheese again. Do I, mean, <laughs> I have friends that are American. Okay, well, I've, <laughs> okay, well I'm, I'm, a, a heavy I'm an word. ally. Truth is a strong word. I have acquaintances that are American. That's true. Okay. If... <laughs> If people could bring you, this is a big one. People could bring you anything to attack you at the show. Not attack. Don't attack. Not me. attack. They could bring anything to like <laughs> give you so many things at the show where Not it feels like that. an attack, like bringing she cheese to the show or something. What would it? Be? If someone, so <laughs> okay, I was listen. I was looking and listening to you, and I feel like I missed something that was happening on the other side. Heidi, uh, she, wanted you, another she one. talked over you. What were you saying? I was going to say, if you were a character in Dungeons and Dragons, what would your class be? Yes, is that what you actually said? No, <laughs> I didn't think so. I'm just quick on my feet. I'm Are you? A, I'm a bard. Very musical, a bard? magical, musical. Am I? You am know? I a bard? Yeah, I'm a, <laughs> am I a bard? <laughs> pull, pull up in the lane. Like yeah. <laughs> Pull up, <laughs> pull up with the loop. <laughs> I can read a bitch. <laughs> My screen went off, but it's okay. it, let's okay, take good. a let's break. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back. This uh, is the podcast where. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girl. Just bid help him try to fix myself. It's, it's me, over. You're in the same you're situation. The you're podcast. in the same situation you were in five minutes ago. It's okay. Oh, girl, please. Okay, to okay fix so, myself. so I just I'm like. I'm just trying to fix myself. Wreck. You just, just can't let Just me. to give the people at home like a look behind the scenes. <gasps> yes. When I walked in, no one had a wig on. I threw a blonde wig on. You had that same silver thing with no wig. And yes. then you're like, we should wear blonde hair because Maddie's wearing blonde. We'll all be blonde. And, and now are. you're just going through it. Just wear the silver. It's okay. You want, you just want me bald headed because you like the shape of my head. I do. I run my fingers through you're it. Like, oh. Run your fingers Miss through Maddie, her stop. scalp. Mm -hmm. Miss if you run your fingers through Miss her Maddie, scalp. I got a wrist of dandruff out of my fingernails. <laughs> she said. <laughs> I was looking for the Red Bull. Come here. Come here. <laughs> My dress, <laughs> change my dress. <laughs> change my dragging to Heidi in the bathroom washing my fingernails. Heidi in the bathroom it. washing That's her burger it. fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you just 
just sitting there. You have so much hair. Just like you can't see it on the camera, I don't think. But you just have like five strands. You're like trying to be all cunty, and it's just like Y'all you're can't just wild. That's it right here. Just, just synthetic flyaways. No, because I am giving cunty. Y'all trying to play with me right now? Heidi, this is wig is the I'm gift that continuously gives to this podcast. You're welcome. I, no, absolutely. The I wig. Give, I give so much of myself to you, to you, to you, to the viewers at home. Heidi, what do you want to say? To you. <laughs> to you. Maddie, what, what do you want to say to the viewers at home about Heidi's behavior? I... <laughs> so I'm an enabler. Be kind. Okay. Be so kind. I say, don't change a thing, Diva. I know that's right. You're perfect. And don't quit halfway through. I love you. The audience loves you. Yes. God loves you. I don't. And Jada's opinion don't matter. And, 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 Damn. And, and Jada ain't no bully. I'm, I'm only one bully. Not about Heisey. I'm only one bully. You, I'm only you know, there, there, could, there could be a hundred people in the room, but only one of them's a bully. So and don't listen Jada to her. Is and it's Jada Essence Hall. That is a good, Shady, that is Shady Shady a good thing. Mm -hmm. Unless you have Twitter. And in which case, it could be everybody 700 people and who hate everybody you. Everybody yeah. the there's a hundred people in the room where there's a thousand on Twitter, and they all hate you. And they all hate you. Die. hundred people in the room, none of them believe in you. Yeah. And none of the people in line either. But when they see you, they'll say, I'm a big fan. Big fan. Can I get a fan. photo? You look familiar. Imagine, imagine somebody asked you for a photo and then they posted it and it was like, this fucking bitch. Oh my God. It was just <laughs> like some shady ass, like just Fuck. reading you out and you were like, I, that person was so sweet. Do you get well, mistaken for anybody? Um, I, I early Humpty on, Dumpty. early on, I had a lot of people are just like, oh, no, Humpty Dumpty, you're so shady. <laughs> shady cunt. You have been given way too many opportunities and you're still this hateful. That's crazy. I'm just a Christian woman. Uh, it's what I do. Okay. There's no love like Christian hate, right? Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> Nothing scorns like a, a, a thorn of a Christian woman. I was like, Christian hate is a great drag king name. I just that, that is. Out there. Yes. Christian hate. Yes. Christian yes. hate. Yeah. That's, that's uh, no, when, when I was first on the season, a lot of people were like, you look familiar. And that was like the end of it. But now people like, because I've been putting out content. Yeah. <laughs> and then everyone says, you look like Trixie. But since I've been like putting out more content, yeah. no one's like, everyone's just like, oh my God, you're metamorphosis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh how, how is it like getting all this like resurgence, new kind of fame that's like not even from um, specific? I mean, I guess it's connected, but. Yeah, it's adjacent. I'm still processing it. It's weird going to a place like the same places I was going to frequently because like I live in yeah. Vegas now mm -hmm. and I used to go to Piranha all the time. And like most of the time I don't get recognized yeah. or sometimes I will or someone to be like, you look familiar. Yeah. But I recently started going out a little bit more, interviewing guests, taking them to yeah. the show and sticking yes. around. Yeah. Right. And I'm what like, you did with me? I'm like, yeah, fun. yeah. And I, I'm like, I'll be with other Rue girls, yeah. and like, they're wanting like my picture, like I'm the big deal. And I'm just like, it's weird. It's fear. It's crazy. Fierce. It's a weird feeling. So when you're outside taking them in an interview, and like they recognize you at the door, do you also pay for the guests to get in with you, or do you just pay for yourself? I don't pay. Oh, I don't pay. To oh, get so in. you just come into? Oh, now no. you're famous, okay. famous. No, I, I not that. <laughs> can imagine. Clarify, I'm not gonna get big head. What I do is like, I do an interview with the guest. And they're gonna get on their own because they're in the show. Yeah. That's why I got them well, on yeah. my show because they're in town. Yeah. Well, yeah. And so I take them. I'm their Uber, and then I'll follow them. You're a good Uber. Like I'm a leech. Mm -hmm. I'm a leech. I'll follow them. And if for some reason I can't do that, I'll go home. Really? I'll go home. So what go was home. really? So what was your excuse? But so far, out so far. Night? I think did I came. Did I go to your? You I went know, to your you show. Did, you dropped me off and just hit it home. You didn't stay for the show. What's that about, Maddie? Remember, remember that yeah, was a night. Nice, I didn't want to go. That was a night Heidi was terrible <laughs> at the show. <laughs> I don't remember. I might have had an interview like the next day or you something. You heard it here first, Maddie. That's, got but that's now. very that's very simple yeah. to be like the well, fact it, is it, I didn't it's, want well, it's crazy because like I go out to the show and like people go out because they're Drag Race fans. They want to see the, mm -hmm. the the Drag Race girl that's in the show, right? And so they recognize me because I was also on the show yeah. at some point. But the people that work at the bars, they don't know who the fuck I am. They don't watch Drag Race. Yeah. They're they're working security, yeah, they, right? And so again, like I'll be following around like the other girls to get in. I don't have a band or anything, so I just like follow them. And so like security don't know who the fuck I yeah. am. They almost got on to me the other day because uh, a Lux was in town. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Lux was in town. I did the interview and she, and she wasn't in the show that night, but she was like, I want to go out and just kind of see the show. Yeah. So I was like, Oh yeah, I'll go. And I go and I park in like the employee parking lot because you know yeah. I host viewing parties. Yeah, but I work there sometimes. Yeah. Okay. And security, I'm that girl. security come up like you can't park here. I'm like, oh no, like I I work here, and they're like, what's your name? You don't have a pass. And I'm like, well, I host, I'm literally hosting a viewing party tomorrow, and I'm here with a special guest for tomorrow. And they're on their walkie talkies. They're doing all this. They're double checking, making yeah, sure. doing all this stuff. And they're just like, well, you can't go through the back. You can't go to the side. Like you need to like go in the front, and someone needs to check oh you in. All God. that. Can you? Imagine? I'm like, I'm like, 
I well, just like, want to go in the bar. Can I have like random strangers in line vouch for me? Like, okay. <laughs> it's so humbling. I was like, oh yeah. I was like, oh yes. I'm not actually famous. I'm just like, you know what? I'm, I'm niche famous. But do you know what is so crazy is that like sometimes fans are they'll be like so sweet. Mm. They're like, I've been to the bar many a times where I'm like, I'll just get in the line because I'm like, girl, I'm not trying to like mm. do all that. Or even trying, like, I'll not trying to skip. And then I'll get in the yeah. line. And everybody's like, just go ahead of me. Go ahead just of me. Go ahead of me. Yeah. Go, 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 go. I'm like, then all the way to the front. I'm like, thanks. Mm-hmm. Normally, I would not participate. Yeah. But I don't like being in the cold. Okay. When it's <laughs> during winter so, season, baby, yes, I'll take well, it. But my thing is, like, if I'm at a show, if, if I'm not in the show, I don't want to be pulling attention away from other yeah. people. No, no, yeah. So, like, a lot of times, oh, yeah. like, if you see me, if you're in Vegas, you're out at the club, and you see me in the corner, like, I'm wearing a mask, I got my hat pulled down, because mm-hmm. it's like, I want to support the dolls, I want to see the show, but, like, and I don't want to spread COVID. And not spread COVID, and of not, course. Of number course, one, we're. CDC. Like, like I love the attention, but not when it's like other people's moments. Like, yeah, they're doing the meet and greet. Like, I'm like, I'm gonna head inside. I'm gonna walk inside because I don't want to be standing when, out here. When people and... ask you for pictures during somebody performing, yeah, on I, the stage. I, I tell people, oh, yeah, I, no, I tell I people no. Yeah. I tell I'm like, people no. I'm, I was, I was like after the show, and they're like, okay, and then by then they're too drunk, so they yeah. forget. Exactly. So. I'm like, not yeah. during the show. Any, yeah. any any other time, I'll take a photo yeah. easily. Yes, let's step home. Unless it's some, but a, during a the show, break no. on. Well, you well. You got, hey, hey, have for, you met my friend? For those that, is, that's Maddie right there. Come and get a picture with Maddie too. Heidi, come over here and get pictures with this person. Oh, for, for, for the audience that's listening and doesn't know, can you explain to them what a smoke break is? A smoke break is what's a smoke oh, break? Okay, they, y'all know what a smoke names. break is. It's your it's your favorite entertainer that is not entertaining you, <laughs> and you say, you know, this is a great time to get a drink. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you might maybe want to even do one of these. Ball up the dollar, throw, throw it at it. the stage, and then go. <laughs> and then just hit it. The best time to leave. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you hear the first couple of beats of the song? Oh. It goes. It goes. I'm every woman. And you know, you, she yeah. she does this every week. You go. Here we go. She does it every week. If it's another performance of This Is Me, it's I smoke break. I swear to God. <laughs> it's, I'm going. I'm you going. You <laughs> <laughs> Were you ever a smoke you, break? Do you, you think you were ever a smoke break queen? No, never. You, you think you, y'all think y'all I walked think I'm out? I'm becoming a smoke break queen, I've but never, <laughs> I will take I will take a smoke break. But I've never been uh, people. I no. ain't a smoke break queen. They don't they don't take mm-hmm. breaks. You don't think it's whenever queen. you first started, people were like, "Oh, this is like the new baby queen." They don't know what she's doing. Uh huh. Uh, no? Even then, I was too entertaining. I was serving it. I was jumping off of everything. And good old Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I was fucking serving it. I was not serving. Were you it serving it because you were serving it, or serving it because it was Wisconsin? What was the drag like? <laughs> Probably because it was Wisconsin. But <laughs> I mean, no, no, she's like, but, yeah. But at the same time, but you were still giving. Two things can be true. You know, do <laughs> you know who told me something amazing that I will never forget? What? Oops. Tommy Ross. You know My Tommy grandma? Ross? I know Tommy Ross. Yeah. Tommy Ross. Granny. Tommy Ross came to Legend. Milwaukee one day. She came to the show. She said, "You know, this is the second time I saw you here." She said, "What are you doing in this city?" You're a big fish in a small pond, and you need to get out to explore the world. There's a lot waiting for you. That's what she told me. Oh, mm-hmm. and she was right. That's sweet. When eventually I have auditioned for the show, but after she said that, I spent ten years in that town, <laughs> <laughs> swimming in that building, little pond. He was building character. You saying, "Case she's wrong." Let me see. I said, "Let's just, just wait and see if she's right." You had to test the water. <laughs> yeah. you know? like, Let me dip my toe in, and that shit got wrinkly. Let's well, see how it was. Ah, it's hot. <laughs> she says. Ran and jumped in the bed. <laughs> Get my comfortable space. <laughs> Grab the teddy. <laughs> uh, okay, we have some emails. Let's do an email really fast. At least okay. one. Oh, word. We got emails. <laughs> okay, we at least one. Really Are fast. Are we almost done? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Okay. okay. I believe so. It feels like it just began, doesn't it? Am I, I allowed to celebrate? No. Fine. <laughs> Whoa, my God. Um, okay. You got it. I was reading it and I was like, what am I processing? Should we read it together? Am Popcorn I, reading? She's not. Yeah. Am I allowed to celebrate finding out my ex got a lifelong STI from the dude he cheated on me with? Oh my Call me whatever you want, a monstrous heartless, but I feel like karma got it right. I'm not going to say that you should be happy that they got it. However, and you know, when you step out, you run that risk, you know? What what the fuck are you, Steve Wilkos? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like the host of what? Cheaters, what? bitch. <laughs> <laughs> when you step out on <laughs> your, your relationship, <laughs> she doesn't give a sermon because God said, My hair. Bitch. 
Well, when you step out, yes, especially it's you're cheating. You're 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 clearly already not doing what's right. You're already, you know, I am a high believer in karma. So I okay. so I feel like karma miss she found her way. I'm not saying be happy for them, you know, that they have a lifelong partner in a STI now. But you know, you can take some pride and joy and be like, see, that's what you get. I told you so. Stuff like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, there it is. I'm so, glad I, I'm so glad I yeah. never dated you. <laughs> girl, I'm like, well, girl. I, I swear, like, they face like, well, that's what you get? I just, Heidi said, I wish you well. In hell. In hell, bitch. She said, you on hell date. <laughs> bitch, it's literally. Wait, well? What, what, what say you? That's what you get. I'm in the camp of, uh, I, I, I try to be more congenial. Everyone walks their own journey. Everyone has their own paths. I'm just like, if that happened to you, like, that sucks for you. Like, I, I wouldn't celebrate it, yes. but I'd be like, well, damn, it is what it is. Damn. You know? You, you know. to yourself, partner. I don't ever want to celebrate anybody getting anything they can't get rid of now. What, you, kinda... what are you doing with those chicken cutlets right now? She's making me nervous. Took them out. They, ooh. Why you, why'd you take them out? They look like they've been look through some things, sister. <laughs> wow. You stuck them on the iPad. Oh, wow. That's you don't nice. even own that. That's that somebody. Looks, <laughs> that looks nasty. Jada, you gonna mess it up, sister. Oh, bre- it, look at it, it's slowly like peeling that? off. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> Say goodbye. There it goes. <laughs> Whoop, giddy up. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't want to celebrate somebody getting an STI. Because like you, like you know what? Karma right is, now. if you believe in karma, right? I, I this don't. This is the real tea. If you believe in karma and you believe like going, yes, somebody got bad karma to them, mm-hmm. giving negative energy yeah. like that is then gonna give you bad karma. T. I, I I don't. You believe. let karma do her shit. I don't believe in karma. I believe in chaos. I think good things happen to good people. Chaotic. Bad things happen to good people, and vice versa. Like things just happen, whether you deserve it or not. And yeah. You just got to keep on trucking. Keep it trucking. Keep it moving. Keep it trucking. Don't. You I got say, a rhinestone on my don't, shit. Don't don't. I think you got don't don't celebrate people's shit. downfalls. Not because yeah. not, not because it's bad karma, but just because like. Why do you want to put that negativity and then, out? And then what if they what if they grew? Move what on. if they changed? What if they better person? Not with a chicken cutlet. Not the chicken cutlet screamed at me. <laughs> that's that. That's that, that Chick-fil-A chicken. That's that good. That, <laughs> a, chi- a good chicken cut cutlet. Let me see if I can do this like this. The Chick-fil-A. The Chick-fil-A titty. Chick-fil-A titty. Ooh. Oh. Um, let's do. <laughs> Let's do another one. That face you just made. What is the weirdest dream you've ever had? I had a repeat. That's not that one. Oh, oh I be mean, I, I have a dream that I, I have recurring, honey. Okay, it, I, it fucks I, me up. You, okay, might, well, you, you, might, you, might, you might, you might, you might, you might correct me, but I'm in the camp of I think every time someone tells me about a dream, it's the most boring ass story I ever heard. I don't know, but correct but, me if you got a really good one. I'd love to hear it. But every it. time someone's like, "Oh, I had the craziest dream," like I'm falling asleep. They tell you the crazy dream. Like, you, girl, my my mama was chasing me. You like? Have you ever played <laughs> uh, Dead by Daylight? Yeah. I have a dream similar to that, akin to that. And okay. I'm trying to save all my friends from high school and my family. And the the mass killer is chasing us around, trying to kill everybody. And I have this, I, and I'm at my old home. Mass killer. Back home when I grew up. I'm at my grandma's house. And there's, I, I somehow have the ability to fly in my dream. Mm-hmm. So I can fly around the house and try and save everybody. But then the killer comes and tries to get me. So I have to fly away. And I have to run upstairs, go out the little side window of the house and fly up and save, and stay, and stay, and stay alive. It's a lot. It's, I about broke a sweat, bitch. <laughs> I about broke a sweat, bitch. Girl, well, we better watch out. She might be coming in at the story. Might Ooh, be coming honey. to Hulu soon. Bitch, it's scary. It's a mess. American wow. Horror Story. That's Putting crazy. me to sleep. Bitch, get down. It's going to be American Horror Story sleep. 7. Putting me to sleep. Put me down. <laughs> That's what it's being given. Do you have any recurring um, dreams? Um, no. Do you ever have like- I feel like, like I barely like, dream these days. you ever have like drag dreams? Oh. You did pageants. Yeah. You ever have like Nightmares. that? Wait, hold on, pause. You, you, wait, hold on, pause. I love how you turn to Jada and say, I, you do pageants. Hello, I do pageants too. Yeah, yeah but you lost pageants. Like a no, bitch, I won pageants. You participated. I did, I did 11 pageants, she one seven. Pageants. Don't do that, bitch. New, newcomer don't and bar do pageants that. don't count. Bitch, but, I'm, I'm oh. really North Carolina Entertainer of the Year, longest reigning. Correct yourself. Okay. Don't do Longest what? reigning. Are Long- you still reigning? No, one I'm contestant ready. and they discontinue the pageant, but go I, on. No, I beat actually many of girls and I reigned for three years because of COVID. Did you ever meet anybody that got a a prelim block for them. No. Oh yeah. Yes. Never. 
You never met a girl. I, I never had. I never had that luxury. I always had to compete against the most girls. Mm. I was like, this is some bullshit. But I did win most of them. So. Okay. But do y'all ever get those like drag dreams though, where like no. you're dreaming about you show up to like the gig and like you're going on in five minutes, you don't have your makeup on or no music in it or something. Yeah. yeah. That's just or getting there really late. <laughs> yeah. That's just that was data this morning. <laughs> But I made it. Reality. <laughs> I made it. Yes, you did. Heidi, I wanted to be here. I didn't want you to be here, but I'm here. That's deep. Tell me about That's it. That's deep. Um, that wasn't a dream. That's my reality, that unfortunately. That is your reality as well. Um, oh but no, I don't really, I don't feel like I dream these days. I would like, I've had, no. I feel like you maybe already, I'm not remembering my dreams. You've, you've made your dream come true. So now you don't have no need to dream. Be a dream girl. So oh. that's why you having so many dreams. Yeah, because I'm just so young. Some of us still got aspirations, Jada. Can't everybody just go ahead and just achieve aspirations? Aspirations. Can't everybody, not everyone can, you know, achieve all their goals by 50 like you, Jada. (laughs) Unfortunately, we are out of time. Fortunately. Unfortunately. Oh. Yeah. Question mark. This might be the last podcast. I'm just kidding. Imagine. <laughs> and then after this, it's like eh, just... when, y- wait, when y'all came up with a name for the podcast. Who came up? Like who was like? This is so perfect. Your name is Hall. Your mind's closet. This is so like because it's two things in a house. I I understand the podcast name, but who is the one to be like? This is fate. I don't know. You, you? y'all need. Have y'all had a door on we yet? Have, well. Adore Delana. Oh, yeah, you can have like hall, she closet, and a door. <gasps> oh my God. Season four. To get out of the saying. closet, you need a door. You need a door. We so need to get a door. out of the closet into the hall, you need a you door. You go down the hall, enter a door. It's kind of cunty. It's giving kind of cunty. I'm just saying. We'll have her on. We'll have her on. Well, oh, I, mm. Heidi bit her tongue, so I'm going to take this line. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to Hall and Closet. What you mean take that line? That is your line. <laughs> Sister. I know. <laughs> okay. Have it. I was just making sure you showed up to work. It's your line. Have it. Have it's it. your line. Have it. Thank you so much for listening to Hall and Closet. I'm Jada Essence Hall. <laughs> and I'm Heidi in Closet. And I want to thank our very, very, very special guest today. Uh, just a guest. Uh, yeah, just a guest. Just, I'm sorry. It literally I says guest. Our, Why are you adding stuff? I, I want to thank our very, 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 very guest. Just read the line, Mama. We know you're talented. <laughs> we know you're talented. Just read the line. <laughs> so we know you do improv, Mama. We know you do improv. <laughs> just watch the episode. We know you do improv, baby. baby we just read, read the, the line. line. <laughs> we just read the line. Okay. And we want to say thank you to our very, 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 very guest. Very guest. Maddie Morphis is for joining us. Maddie, where can we find you and what do you have coming Ooh, up? Yes. Oh, I don't have a lot coming up. Maybe at DragCon. Okay. I'm, I'm making some more content. Follow me on all my socials, at Maddie Morphosis. And on YouTube is my main uh, my main go-to nowadays, at Maddie Morphosis Official. Uh, or do give it to me straight. I do. I have other podcast ideas coming up soon. Hopefully Ooh. those come to fruition in the very near future. And uh, Maddie is yeah. famous, y'all. Maddie is yeah! Miss Maddie famous. I'll take it. Give it Miss Fame a run for her. Look what I just made. A I, titty I wish roll? you did. I wish you didn't. I wish you didn't. <laughs> why is it? Uh, why your titty uncut? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you next I've, week. I've, I've never seen an uncut titty before. <laughs> why is her uncut titty? Why is her titty uncut? <laughs> you can follow us on social media at Jada E Hall and Heidi and Closet, and follow the show at Hall and Closet Pod, as well as Mom Podcast at Mom Podcast. And send us your fascinating, fun facts, burning questions, or jaw dash dropping, shocking stories to in blue. Hall and closet at gmail.com with an underscore under that. Or just email them. Do you have crazy dreams? Oh, yes. Something boring. Do that. Yeah. Crazy dreams? Write us at Hall and Closet at gmail.com. At gmail.com. And make sure you subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts so you never miss an episode. That's it. See you next week for more. Hall, Hall and, and Closet. closet. Bye. Bye. To listen to Hall & Closet ad-free and one week early, and to experience all of Mom Podcast's premium content, check out Mom Plus Gold at mompodcast.plus. Hall & Closet is produced by Moguls of Media, a.k.a. Mom. Production supervision, engineering, and editing by Margot Padilla, with theme music by Will Pitts. Executive produced by Willem, Alaska, Big Dipper, Camille Stennis, and Joe Celio. Joe Celio.